Hi, my name is Jimmy Simpson. I played William on, uh, on Westworld. I'm going to attempt to summarize Westworld in six minutes. <sighs> Westworld is a futuristic theme park where guests play out Wild West adventures with androids who look like and think they are actual humans. It was built and is operated by a company called Delos Incorporated. A train carries park guests into a town called Sweetwater. Many hosts populate Sweetwater, including Maeve, the saloon and brothel owner. The androids are called hosts and the guests are called newcomers. We meet Dolores Abernathy, the oldest host in the park, though she looks like a young woman. The man in black is a regular customer who has been coming to the park since it opened. He's looking for a secret level to the game of Westworld called The Maze. Behind the scenes of the park, there's an entire Westworld facility and staff. Among them are lead programmer Bernard and head of quality assurance Teresa. Bernard and Teresa, they're actually having an affair. Dr. Robert Ford, he's a surviving member of the duo that originally created Westworld. Dolores' father, Pete, finds a photograph depicting a modern city and he begins to glitch out. The park staff take him in, but before he goes, he whispers to Dolores, These violent delights have violent ends. What Peter told Dolores may have changed her. Killing a living thing was something her program previously didn't allow her to do, but she kills a fly crawling on her skin. Two visitors arrive in Westworld together, a nice guy named William and his jerk future brother-in-law Logan. Dolores tells Maeve these violent delights have violent ends. Now Maeve starts to have visions of past narratives she was in. Ford, he goes into the park and he shows a little boy host his next storyline, a buried church with just the steeple sticking out of the ground. What is that? Maeve has a nightmare of a past life where she had a daughter and the MIB, men in black, killing her. Maeve wakes up on the repair table in the facility, grabs a scalpel, she runs, she sees part of the facility where dead hosts are clean, sees characters she knows, she's horrified. Maeve is recaptured and the repair techs decide not to say anything in fear of getting blamed, she's put back in the park. Ford warns Bernard about getting too close to the host. He warns him. He says, Arnold, the deceased co-creator of the park, he wanted the host to truly become self-aware. Ford says Arnold died in the park after becoming too close to the hosts. Back in the park, Dolores changes her behavior in what is supposed to be a scripted attack by bandits. She's able to fire a gun, which she previously was incapable of, and kill the bandits. Now Dolores flees from the scene, and she later meets Logan and William. Logan wants to kill Dolores so they can move on. William won't let her. Dolores has a flashback to a past life in a church, perhaps the buried one with the steeple we saw earlier. In the park, Maeve asks Hector to cut open her belly and she finds, spoiler alert, an old bullet that previously killed her there, confirming what she remembers of her past lives being true. So William, Dolores, and Logan arrive in Pariah. It's a city of outlaws and prostitutes, you know. Dolores speaks to a tarot card reader there who tells her she must be finding this maze. She has to find the maze. Logan gets beat up by a gang called the Confederados. William ditches him, heads off of Dolores, train style. Maeve wants to get back to the facility to learn more, so she gets a guest to choke her to death during sex. What? She wakes up in the facility and the body shop technician Lutz, he tells her she's a robot and that he's real. Maeve, she pulls a scalpel on Lutz and his co-worker Sylvester and she makes them ramp up her intelligence. Whee! Maeve tells Lutz and Sylvester she wants to escape Westworld and returns to the park. Now fully self-aware, Bernard discovers there's five unregistered hosts in the park. What? Bernard goes to track them down in a cabin. It's a family, but it's modeled after Ford's own family. The dad attacks Bernard, but Ford, he shows up and he stops him. And then Ford reveals that these are the original generation hosts, mechanical with strange faces and less organic than current hosts. Bernard later shows Teresa Ford's family's cabin, where Ford has a private host-making lab. They find old sketches for a host that looks like Bernard, and when Ford shows up, it's revealed that Bernard is in fact a robot of Ford's creation! Ford commands Bernard to kill Teresa, and he, spoiler alert, bashes her head against the wall to death, of course. Meanwhile, Dolores and William, they have sex on a train, and they fall deeper in love. The train is attacked, and they escape, and they enter Ghost Nation territory. It's very dangerous, despite how I said it. Maeve decides to recruit an army to help her break out of the park, and so she does that. Sylvester gets nervous, and he's just bringing Maeve in to, to shut her down, to control it, but Lutz warns her of the plan, and she gets the upper hand. Well done, Maeve. Now Maeve tinkers with her own code, now she can control other hosts. Some of the backstory of the Man in Black is finally revealed. Outside the park, his wife left him, and that's, that's why he's here. The Man in Black, he killed Maeve in a narrative in which she was a mother to see if he could feel anything again. That's not a good excuse. Right before she died, he said that, that he finally felt truly alive, and that's why he wants to find the maze and help make all the hosts actually self-aware. Dolores and William come to the old white church she's had flashbacks of, not just the steeple, fully above ground. Logan shows up, he captures both of them. Where's Logan been? I don't know. Maeve, she's brought in to be analyzed by Bernard, but now she can control him, and now she orders him to release her and to seek out the truth about himself. Bernard forces Ford to unlock all the levels of his mind so he can know the truth about himself, but it's revealed Bernard was based off, spoiler alert, Ford's co-creator of the park, Arnold, who died in the park. 
Ford orders Bernard to shoot himself in the head, and then he does. Maeve recruits Hector to help her start the robot rebellion, so they have sex, and then she purposely kicks over a lantern so they die in a fire, and are brought into the facility for repairs and to live together in, in host life. William tells Logan he wants to take Dolores home with William, but he's supposed to marry Logan's sister. Logan's upset. Logan takes out a picture of his sister. We see it's the picture Dolores' dad, Peter, found that made him glitch, made him go crazy. Logan stabs Dolores. She runs to the white church town, and we realize, spoiler alert, we're seeing two timelines. In the past, she's just run away from Logan and William, and she sees many first-generation hosts glitching in the pews. She's taken into the old facility beneath the church, and she sees a young Ford and Arnold slash Bernard, and in the present, returning to the church. All these years later, she remembers that she is the one who killed Arnold. And then the man in black enters the church in the present, and he gets the upper hand on Dolores. And then they dig up a grave with Dolores' name on it, thinking it's the entrance to the maze, right? He finally found the maze. And they do find a maze, but it's a toy maze. The man in black is confused. And in flashback, we see Arnold wanted to halt the park because he believes the hosts are actually alive. And Ford does not agree with this, and he, spoiler alert, programs Dolores to kill Arnold. In the present, the man in black beats Dolores, and she cries out for William. It's revealed that the man in black, spoiler alert, actually is William just 30 years later, and we've been watching two timelines this entire series so far. Maeve repairs Bernard, and he tells her he has to get to the train to escape Worst World. Ford finds the man in black in the park, and he invites him to a special event that night with the board and the guests. It's a lovely event. Hector and Armistice in the facility get machine guns, and they start delightedly gunning down staff members. Willy-nilly, Maeve gets to the train to finally escape West World, but she decides to stay remembering her daughter, and then she goes back into the park. And Dolores is repaired by Ford. It's revealed that Arnold actually committed suicide, spoiler alert, by programming Dolores to kill him. Ford gives one last speech at the gala that that night, telling his guests that he hopes they enjoy this last piece of his and then Dolores, spoiler alert, blows his brains out of his head and she starts to fire at the crowd, killing guests and board members, and panic ensues. An army of hosts emerges coming to attack and kill the guests. The man in black slash William is shot in the arm by a real bullet and he looks happy. This is what he wanted? Real stakes? Crazy! The season ends just as the robot rebellion in the West World finally begins! And that's, yeah, end of season one. What? Hmm? Okay.